Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm starting off the vlog with baby girl. Look how cute. So I'm currently in the postpartum recovery room with Mason and my mom and we're waiting to be discharged but we have some things to do before we leave. We need to check her oxygen levels and I also need an iron infusion as well another one because I am severely anemic and I just got one but they want to give me another one so we were planning to leave around the afternoon but it is now the afternoon time and I think we're going to be staying till the evening time now um, because they said my iron transfusion could take like two to three hours so I think we're staying longer than we expected but it's okay I'm just a little sad because I want to get home to Kinsley and Aria um, which are my two older daughters if you're new here I have a four-year-old and two-year-old daughter and then this is my third daughter and she was born February 19th I got no sleep last night at all you guys I was up every hour of the night nursing her and now she's like really tired <laughs> um, and I'm really tired as well but I wanted to take some cute pictures and feel better so I took a shower and did my makeup and now I feel refreshed and we got some cute pictures together um, but yeah that's what we're waiting on right now if you want to watch my labor and delivery video I will link that video down below as well but we are going to bring you home so soon I'm so excited yesterday was insane it was crazy it was my craziest birth it was very very scary I was about to get an emergency c-section because everything did not go according to plan and I was pretty freaking out. Keely was at like a seven and she was pretty much stuck there. Mm -hmm. And the baby was like facing weird directions pretty much all day. Kaylee's had like back labor leading up to this point, which that would probably be why, because she was facing all the weird positions. Yeah, so at first they thought she was sunny side up, then they confirmed she wasn't, and then she was turned to the side. So Kaylee was like stuck at a seven, and they had already like burst the water and everything. They had Kaylee like go in weird positions, like she got on her hands and knees, and she's numb from the epidural, so we had to like all like lift her. Yeah, my limp. mom and Mason had to and lift. The nurse. Had to lift my limp body and put yeah. me in like basically doggy style so anyways i'm facing the monitor there's like a monitor like right here um that tells you the baby's heart rate in the labor and delivery room and so i'm watching the monitor as i'm doing this and i'm literally watching my baby's heart rate drop and it's just dropping and i see it go down to like 80 and then 50 and then it even goes down to 20 and then I like literally like am freaking out but I like can't get words out of my mouth because I'm just like oh my god she's dying she's dying like and it was so scary and so the nurse like tells me to immediately like flip back over in the position that I like already was yeah she's like and telling so me to go on all these different sides I'm just like frozen and I'm like oh my god is my baby okay and, and I didn't know what was going on. I like yeah. literally blacked out. So she like ran to the wall and like flipped it and then she said like, don't be alarmed if like a good amount of people start coming in and like right of when she said that. Of course I'm going to be alarmed. So then yeah, right the emergency call button like gets like sent out to everyone in the hospital and there's 20 people in my room and I'm literally hyperventilating. I'm looking at my mom like, oh my God, like what's happening? Yeah, like, it's my baby. Was, like, passed out too. Yeah, my mom was almost passing out. I was almost passing out. I thought my baby was gonna die. I didn't care if they had to do a C-section. I didn't care what they had to do. Well, um, they didn't care either. Prepping for every scenario is why there were so many people. There was like people prepping for the C-section, people seeing if they could just um, like deliver naturally right then and there people like grabbing like bags like setting things up it was literally, i literally like, thought she was going to die it was a room full of everyone here and so much, i was so. like sobbing and i asked them like do i need to get a c-section and they said it was a possibility and so they were preparing for everything um and then she asked me she's like do you think you can push and I was like, I thought I had to get a C-section. And she's like, well, let's just try this and see if we can flip it her. It was like a test. They yeah. wanted to have Kaylee do a test push. They said, don't push too hard. Mm -hmm. Do a test push because maybe there's like a chance she'll just like flip the right way and like start dilating and just come out. Yeah. And then Kaylee just goes full-blown pushing. 
So I like pushed for my life because I wasn't paying attention to the words coming out of her mouth. I was yeah, literally she just like, heard push. I was blacked out. I didn't know. I just heard push and I pushed the hardest I ever have in my entire life. I was like, I need to get this baby out. Like she's going to die if I don't get her out. Yeah. And I was just sobbing, like freaking out, crying. It was crazy. I pushed and she came out in 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So they pretty much have like the best doctors I think. It yeah, and so like she flipped. So she flipped while she was coming out. Yeah, they flipped her too. They stuck their hand in there and like turned her and like scooped And then her out. the cord was wrapped around her neck. Yeah. And they also had to screw something in the top of her head because they couldn't get her heart rate. And then when they took her out, she had the cord wrapped around her neck. And then I saw the cord around her neck and I was like, dude, this is seriously so scary. Like, and then I finally heard her cry and then I was crying. Well, I already was crying, but I was crying even more. And then I saw them take the screws out of her head and it was like they were taking like a fish hook out of her head and it was just so awful yeah, to watch. Her time with it too. <sighs> it was terrifying. But it was so terrifying. At the end of all of it though, you can't even see my face. Oh. At the end of everything though, she's like super healthy. I'm just so glad and happy. I was like praying to God like please don't let her die on me. Please don't let her die on me. I was freaking out and then my mom was like literally about to faint yeah, yeah i think i did hit the whole it was like tunnel vision and everything all the noise and the chaos we grabbed the camera out like at the last yeah, so second we didn't get to record everything it happened so it happened fast so fast that i like forgot i was gonna like set the camera up and i'm like holding kaylee's legs as she's and, I <laughs> and kaylee's mom remembered like to start the camera too. but just imagine like so. being in the hospital about to deliver your baby and then 20 people rush in the room and you hear the emergency things going off like it yeah, was they just, terrifying like, it was they literally like marched terrifying single file, like, it was were you terror. freaking out were you even freaking yeah, out was, i was only was looking at my mom under pressure. <laughs> they said was he was just kind of standing there and i was like <laughs> and then i realized he was the strong one in the situation i'm like mason what's happening he's like i don't know <laughs> yeah i wasn't even looking at mason i was just looking at my mom deer with <laughs> and the headlights <laughs> Oh my gosh, she I definitely mean, gave me isn't gonna help, a so. heart attack. I know, it's but not it's really... like you can't really help it. Like I had yeah. to, I was I, I had to find my chair and like walk. I'm like, and then like I saw like three or four nurses coming over towards me, and then one started to comfort me. I'm yeah. like, can somebody help me? <laughs> I'm really scared, but I don't it was, want to show it. It was I, terrifying. <laughs> But it was all so worth it for this sweet little face. Thank goodness. Thank God she's here today. Yes, she's perfect. Oh, baby. I know. And she has two little dimples. <laughs> oh, you're she's gonna show so them? cute. Oh, she's yawning. Since everything is good now, we're pretty much, I think, checking off like almost everything on our to-go chart. So the only thing we have left is an oxygen test which I'm sure she'll be fine. She definitely is loud and has good lungs. So <laughs> she'll be fine there. And then after that, Kaylee might still get her iron infusion. We're trying to get that done. And then we're pretty much ready to go home. So we're super close and we all can't wait to just go home and relax. Okay, so Kaylee is currently breastfeeding the baby right now. And we just ordered lunch. It's like two o'clock, 2.30 pretty late we haven't eaten lunch yet so we just ordered lunch and Kaylee's update is she's getting an iron infusion pretty soon I think they're preparing it but it's gonna be like four hours long it's gonna be a super long iron infusion then after that we're pretty much ready to go the baby checked out on like everything and we're good to go so we're just gonna be chilling out in the room for a while All right, so it's a little dark it's not too bad but we're keeping the light off right now because the baby is finally falling asleep. It's like 6.30, Kaylee's iron is right here, and we're like halfway done. Well, actually more than halfway done. I don't know if it'll focus on this, but it says that we have 48 minutes left. This has been the slowest few hours. I just want to go home so I know. I am having like the after labor after birth contractions like mm -hmm. when i breastfeed and like they'll randomly come to because my uterus my uterus is shrinking and they hurt so freaking bad yeah like can i get another epidural <laughs> another epidural oh. 
then you can't get home. <laughs> oh yeah, never mind. So what do you want, epidural or get home? I guess I'll go home. Yeah, that's the only choice you really have anyways, but... Uh, but anyways... Kaylee, they sent Kaylee some dinner, it's like meatloaf, chocolate cake, I'm surprised she hasn't eaten cantaloupe, and some zucchini in yeah. salad. But feeling it. Kids right aren't now. really digging this hospital food, so. Nope. I just can't wait to get out of here. I know. Well, you're almost done. We are finally out of here, you guys. I'm walking. Wow, your legs are moving. <laughs> Let me see my baby. Oh my goodness, are you ready to go home, baby girl? <laughs> we got our golden ticket. We are Let's good to go. go. An elevator ride. <laughs> All yeah. in one. <laughs> so okay, we're out of the hospital and walking to the car. First car ride. <laughs> is being crazy but so we're home now finally it's so nice so it is now 10 30 p.m and we just got the baby down for bed mason was rocking her the whole entire time to get her to go to sleep it was so cute and i wish i recorded it um, but while he was doing that i was eating dinner um we just got to eating dinner we had like a frozen pizza that was in our fridge um we just Hey, and baby girl is in her bassinet by our bed. Um, so we are going to try and go to sleep um, as much as we can. I am so exhausted and I'm so, so sad and emotional right now because I want Kenny and Aria home so badly. Like I miss them yeah. so much, it feels like forever. But anyways, early tomorrow morning, <laughs> I'm so tired. Early tomorrow morning, we have baby girl's um, appointment yeah like her checkup her appointment. two day checkup except they scheduled it in one day so now it's like one day because we left quick so. because we left the hospital in a day and a half so apparently if you leave the hospital early before two days they yeah. do like a one day <clears throat> um checkup instead of a two day but so we have i would to rather a next day appointment but get to sleep at our house than like sleep there another day and yeah then, yeah exactly so anyways we're going there early tomorrow morning so mm -hmm. i will vlog that um she's probably <clears throat> losing weight obviously like all newborns do at first so she'll probably lose a little weight tomorrow um speaking of losing weight i didn't lose any neither <laughs> did i you guys like my shirt here's my one day postpartum stomach i literally only lost like what she weighed <laughs> So, I'm going to have a long weight loss journey ahead of me, but I'm not going to push my body hard at all. I'm just going to lose the weight eventually and try and breastfeed it off. But anyways, we're going to go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Um, wish me luck. I hope I get sleep. I am so freaking tired. Okay, good night. This is what tired parents look like. <laughs> um, it is the next day and we're currently on the way to get Starbucks. Sandwiches in our Starbucks. How about you today? Hi, can I get a uh, venti iced caramel macchiato? Venti iced caramel macchiato? And then small white mocha. Nice. We were up almost every single hour last night. She had one stretch of sleeping two hours. Um, but <laughs> we were up all night with her and now we're getting Starbucks and we're headed to her doctor's appointment. Her first doctor's appointment one day later. <laughs> so here we go. We took the truck today because when we drove home from the hospital last night in Kaylee's car, it's like super quiet and like comfortable, but she was crying like the whole way home. So <laughs> we took the super loud, obnoxious truck and Mason's truck. She's she's doing great. And she's, she loves it. She loves it. It like calms her down. Yeah. So we're gonna be driving this everywhere now yeah, because all of our kids like, love it. Yeah. All of our kids, the second we put them in Mason's truck, they all fall asleep. Yeah. It's so like so vibrations sweet. and it's like a big stiff truck and it's safer probably. Yeah. A lot we're like safer. the biggest truck on the road, so I'd rather be the safest one. Yeah. So we're gonna head to our hospital appointment after we grab our coffee and then we are gonna get 
and then we are gonna grab the kids later today i'm so excited and i miss them so 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 much like it hurts i cannot wait for them all to meet Cheers. thank you i got some breakfast some butter uh, yeah. croissants that white mocha? Yeah. filling out her paperwork. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed with her. We just got to the pediatrics office and we just weighed the baby. Mm -hmm. She's been eating all day, non-freaking stop, but mm -hmm. but babies, but newborn babies like lose weight all the time. Yeah, um, it's and like then they normal. gain it back. As long as they're like peeing and pooping, it's all they Yeah, about. but hopefully like that's not too much. I can't remember what's like the standard. I don't know. It's been so long, but then at the same time, it feels like yesterday with Kinsley and Ari. And I keep like almost crying because like I miss when they were this little too. Look how little her feet are. <laughs> Tiny oh my gosh, feet. she's so cute. She's so little. So she has to stay in like just a diaper like this whole visit, which sucks. Because I know, she's we, cold and we she doesn't just like got it. her asleep. I know. In the car ride. And she was like nice and warm and cozy. And I'm having so many like contractions from feeding her and they're so painful that's a good thing though my uterus is trying to shrink yeah. so oh, cute look at the little office here's your coffee sorry dutch brothers i would have rather had you trust me but kaylee wanted starbucks <clears throat> wow <laughs> no kid ever is smiling like that with a giant thing of broccoli <laughs> okay so we just finished our checkup with the doctor and as far as the baby's weight goes i was completely wrong i read this little scale thing wrong so yeah mason was like freaking me out i, I thought like, she was 6.15 ounces apparently she's six pounds 15 ounces yeah i was so like, she's like totally good she barely lost any weight i was like oh my god like I'm feeding her horribly. <laughs> yeah, they said she's like totally fine. She only lost like under six percent or something. So, so they said she's doing and great. And she's super healthy. She checked out on everything. So, we're gonna pack up and I think head home. So, oh, oh, oh. Cause you will always be there.